Why, for mine works. I told him to accept me as I am or leave. We have to get Knox and Lady Baden Baden back together. Lady Baden Baden's leaving on the afternoon train. Let's go. Come on, boys. She's getting away. <laughs> this is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is, until Burt Raccoon wakes up. <laughs> Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest, except for... Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoons. It's often said that a change is as good as a rest, and usually that's true. But things aren't very restful around the evergreen forest when Lady Baden Baden decides it's time for a change. Oh, Schaefer, these are simply divine. Perfect for the Historical Society's train ride and luncheon tomorrow. Of course, they could use just a teensy bit more cinnamon. Thanks, Lady Baden Baden. I don't normally cater, but if you like, I can make up a basket of cakes for you with a little more. Cinnamon, of course. Oh, you are a darling, Schaefer. Congratulations, Lady Baden-Baden. I heard your gardenias won the flower show again this year. Oh, thank you, Melissa. You don't sound too excited about it. Is something wrong? No, oh, not really. It's just that nothing is very exciting lately. The usual mad social world. I thought you liked all that stuff. Oh, I do. But lately I've been so unfulfilled. I envy you, Melissa. Me? You have a career. You have purpose. A direction in life. Me? I just flutter about on society business. Maybe you need a career. Hey, have you ever thought about getting a job of some kind? Oh, what a unique idea. But uh, how does one actually find a job? <laughs> well, I sure could use some full-time help around here, Lady Baden Baden. Oh, capital idea. I certainly could do things with the Blue Spruce Cafe. Uh, can you, uh, can you cook? Can I cook? Why, I'm a cordon bleu chef. Well... Oh, wait till I tell Moxie I don't gain for employment. He'll be so thrilled. There is a lot to do, but don't worry. I guarantee things will take a turn for the better around here. Ah! to make it to the end of the street. Never mind the pork a nose. As long as it's not a holiday like last year's. Oh, it wasn't so bad camping in the backyard. Until the tent sprung a leak. We've got to get some money somewhere. Hey, get over here. Oh. Ah! Oh. Coming, boss. I might as well play golf on the Sahara Desert. The amount of time I spend in sand traps? A uh, sand wedge again, sir? I'll turn you into a sandwich if you don't watch your lip pig. Last! Hmm, speaking of sandwiches, Mr. Sneer, 
Would you happen to know a good caterer? Now, how would I know a good caterer? <laughs> Caterers. Anyone comes to my house? Oh, they bring their own food. Erg! What do you want a caterer for anyway? I'm having a little surprise party for Lady Baden Baden on the occasion of our anniversary. Yeah. Uh, I assume you'll be attended. Sure, Knox. Happy to. As long as you get a good caterer, <laughs> I never pass up a free meal. I just had a brilliant idea. I know how we can make some easy money. Ah! Oh, Lloyd, that's my favorite kind. I was walking on the road, la 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 la, on the birds that rock and groan. This was the Blue Spruce Cafe last time I looked. Ooh, patrons! Um, uh, not really, Lady Button Button. We just wanted a sandwich. And do you have reservations? I've got a few. But you're not very tight. You do have the best coat, you know. Yeah. Very fashion. Walk this way. Bert, what's Gateau de Fouille Blonde of the Café de la Posti? I don't know, Cedric, but I'm pretty sure it's not a grilled cheese sandwich and fries. Bert. I don't see any prices on this menu. <coughs> Are the gentlemen ready to order? Well, what do you think of our new menu? Great, Lady Button Button, but uh, <laughs> we were kind of hoping for a couple of peanut butter sandwiches and a soda. Well, for you two lovely boys, we'll make an exception. Boy, she sure has turned this place around, hey, Schaefer? Yep. She sure has. Yes, sir, Mr. Knox. Pied de Cochon catering delivered. Satisfaction guaranteed. All right, Mr. Knox. We'll discuss the details this afternoon. Ciao. We got it. Knox wants to hire us. Oh, finally some real money. That's my favorite kind. Knox. Hiring my pinks? Oh, I'd like to see the look on the boss's face when he found out about this. What's this? Meet Knox this afternoon, Blue Spruce Cafe. Employment? Those dirty little bacon bits. Those perfidious porkers. How could they do this to me? I've been like a father to them. They can't leave me for Knox. We'll see about this. Uh, what's with the disguises, boys? Does Mr. Sneer disapprove of your catering business? Oh, no. The boss backs us all the way. Yeah, usually he's on our backs. Uh, besides, we're not in disguise. No, no, it's a, it's a <laughs> protection from the sun. The ozone layer. It's breaking down, you know, and we're very sensitive to ultraviolet rays. I uh, see. Well, let's get down to business. Uh, Lady Baden Baden is mighty partial to French cuisine. Uh, what can you supply for the surprise party? Oh, um, uh, cuisine. Oh, let's see now. Uh, what can we supply? Oh, look. Isn't that Lady Penelope Banyos? Oh, in that striking chiffon and leatherette jumpsuit. Trey, she, she. Oops, my mistake. <laughs> it's not here after all. Ahem, ahem. How does this sound? A, a pate de la Campagne? Escar God de la Bourgogne? A cherry yams with pecan sauce and green peppercorn vinaigrette with truffle. Ooh, that sounds right fine, boys. Mighty fine. You've got the contract. Great. You won't regret this, Mr. Knox. Well, we better get started. See you at the party tomorrow night at 6.30. 
Lady Baden-Baden, uh, uh, what are you doing here? What does it look like, Noxie? I'm working! You are what? Yes, I just started this morning. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful? It is an insult. No wife of mine works anywhere. You are coming home with me right now. Just put it all on the boss's bill, Mr. Willow. We'll pay off the bill with our huge profits. <laughs> the boss will never know. <laughs> <laughs> Such a romantic. And Lady Baden Baden doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> I love surprise parties. Gee, I wonder who that is. Uh, Lady Baden Baden? What a uh, surprise. Lady Baden Baden. <laughs> without a fight. They know too much about my business dealings. Now remember, we can't let the boss see this stuff. Hi, boys. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, dinner, boss. We're uh, making dinner. Dinner? Great idea. Mind if I pitch in, boys? Many hands make light work, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, Bob, I guess, boy, Get out the French cookbook. Oh, okay. Here I go again, falling ah, out of ah. mind, falling into someone new. Here I go again, getting out of line, oh. getting too much to lose. But I'm holding out of you, hoping that it's true. I don't want somebody new. Standing in the dark. Mr. Sneer, uh, Cyril, you are the only one I can turn to in my hour of deepest grief. What are you babbling about, Knox? The fair lady Baden-Baden and I have come to a parting of the ways. <laughs> Our marriage is over. <laughs> I'll be staying in the back bedroom. You don't mind, do you, sir? But, uh, but, uh... Catering contract just went up in smoke. <laughs> no, he just.
just went up the stairs. We have to get Knox and Lady Baden Baden back together, or we can kiss our catering contract and our holiday goodbye. <laughs> Don't cry, Lady Baden-Baden. Oh, I'm not. It's the onions. Oh, but I do miss Noxy so. I'm sure you and Mr. Knox can work things out. You manage a career and the marriage, Melissa. How do you do it? Well, a little understanding, a little support, and a little compromise from both of us. Compromise? Well, not one of Noxy's strong points. Here's your basket of goodies for the Historical Society train ride, Lady Baden-Baden. Um, why don't you take it down to the station and take the rest of the afternoon off? Oh, thank you, Schaefer. Maybe a little visit will cheer me up. We'll walk you down to the train station, Lady Baden-Baden. We're covering the trip for the standard. You're too kind, but how do you do it? <gasps> Where is she? Where's Lady Baden-Baden? You're too late. She just left for the train station. If you hurry, you might catch her before the train leaves. But she can't leave! Oh, no! Come on, boy! <laughs> You're crazy to break up with Lady Button Button just because she took a job, Knox? Drat! But, sir, where I come from, a gentleman would never let his wife take a job. It's tradition. <laughs> Lucky shot, Knox. The heck with tradition. You can't kiss off a perfectly good marriage because of your pig-headed pride. You're living in the modern world, Knox. A woman has a right to work if she wants. Oh. Besides, you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. You're getting a second income out of it. <laughs> Listen, Knox. About your taking on the pigs. Oh. Don't worry about them, sir. I'm sure they're gonna work out fine. Oh, you do, eh? Hey. <laughs> good, good. Lady Baden Baden's leaving on the afternoon train. You've got to stop her! I'll just ruin your surprise party if she doesn't turn up. We'll drive you in the limo. Let's go. Hey, what about me? That's loyalty for you, those traitorous trotters. We're already working for Knox, and they haven't even moved out yet. We'll drive you in limo. In my limo? Hey, wait for me, you two-timing trotters. I'm back here. Oh, you know I do miss these social functions, but now I'm a career woman. Oh, it's all so meaningless without Noxie. Come on, boys. She's getting away. Who's that? I don't know. Faster, boys. Faster. It's Mr. Knox. Sweepy. <laughs> don't leave me. I love you. Noxie, what are you doing? I was wrong, dearest. I see that now. If you want to work, I'll stand beside you all the way. But if you leave on this train, honey, you take away my sunshine. Oh, Moxie, you silly old romantic darling. It's just an afternoon run with the historical society. This is embarrassing. I wish they'd wake up and get it over with. Oh, I think it's a Did I miss something here? Yes, boss. The happy ending. Well, uh, we thought she was leaving for good. But things worked out anyway. <laughs> the anniversary party's still on. And so is our contract. Look, I don't want you three to go. Oh, but we have to. We're expected at 6.30. Don't make me beg. I'll double Knox's contract. Double Knox's contract? Oh,
their differences. They always do. And fortunately, so did Mr. Knox and Lady Baden Baden. And I decided that a part-time catering business would be the perfect compromise. I can work at home and still attend my social functions. Uh, I hope you understand, Schaefer. Oh, I'll get by, Lady Baden Baden. You realize you've made history, dearest? The first Knox woman to have a career. Oh. Red food, Schaefer. Oh, I don't know how you whipped it up on such short notice. Oh, Lady Baden Baden gave me a hand. Uh, whatever happened to the original caterers? Then there's the food from Willow's, and we own the blue spruce for catering. And the candy and flowers for Lady Baden Baden. Oh, don't forget the veterinary bill for snags and digestion. Well, enjoy the holiday, boys. It's the last one we'll be able to afford for years. At least it's not winning. <laughs> 